This is going to be one of those videos where the truth kind of hurts and stings a little bit. So let me tell you guys a little secret about Filecoin, which of course many people don't really talk about. It's broken tokenomics. Lots of influencers out there don't talk about a very important indicator, which is the supply of a coin. They don't talk about the inflation of a coin very often. They always value things by the price as opposed to the market capital relative to the circulation and supply because of more coins that are released in ecosystems, this dilutes the value of each token. This is something important I want to talk about, and I know for a fact so many people are stuck in Filecoin from the previous bull run. And I think, you know, it's just something we've got to maybe accept at this point in time because Filecoin did hit a massive $191 price tag. But whilst it did that back in 21, we can see the valuation of the project was at 12 billion, which is only around a 4x of the current valuation. If you 4x the price of Filecoin right now, that only takes you to about $30 with the equivalent project valuation or market capitalization. And this is because of the superfluous supply, the injection of new tokens, and the tokenomics model, which is kind of making a very, very impossible recovery. So this is one of those charts that I just don't think will be fixed. So let's talk about it in this video and you know the do's and don'ts and how I feel about Filecoin. Is this coin still worth buying? what's happening with the ecosystem and yeah guys if you're new here and looking to achieve your crypto goals and dreams smash that subscribe button my name is uh jacob by the way <laughs> hi and uh yeah we like to talk about cryptocurrencies meme coins and loads of other cool things so let's crack on shall we <laughs> so the market cap is 3.77 billion here for filecoin of course over the last seven days it's been a great run from five dollars 40 up to around about eight dollars here so really nice run on the month as well from some lows of four dollars 75 you're looking pretty good you know you're feeling euphoric you're up 2x if you got down at these very, very low levels where the smart money would have bought in. I mean, if you bought at the top over here in 2021, you are still significantly down. Like, really, really down. So, it's important to understand the Filecoin protocol, the circulating supply. When we look at particular charts like this, um, you know, first of all, what is circulating right now? We've got 511 million Filecoin tokens. Now, you can imagine the circulating supply of Filecoin back in 2021. There was probably only like 100 million tokens or something like that. Maybe even less. I honestly don't know what the true figure would have been. The total supply or the max supply, I believe, is 2 billion. But what we can see here is a massive, massive, you know, correlation, a big trend here. And when you look at the protocol circulating supply, it is just up and up and up. And this dates back to 2020 actually so you can actually see here this kind of answers our question 2021 in february there was around about 80 million tokens in supply so 2021 that is a relevant date and actually this was april time so we can see here going to april ish of 2021 there was about 100 million tokens in supply there are now five times if not just over five times more tokens currently in supply and you can see this injection this increase is not slowing down anytime soon yes there are still file coins locked in and there are some being burned but there's no way near enough to keep up with this inflation here since the mainnet launch of this deep in token so Lots are vested. Uh, there are, there's, of course, file reserve dispersed. But overall, the total amount circulating is the big problem. And that, that's that blue line right there, guys. So this is not really nice. This isn't a healthy valuation. And the problem is, you know, you can look at this chart and think, oh, fantastic. You know, we're pumping right now. But realistically, to get back to where we were, you're asking for a lot. You're asking for really something that might not ever happen as bad as that sounds you're asking for <laughs> yeah you're asking for a 30x and that includes a 30x on the valuation or file coin which is going to be taking the project to you know ridiculous amounts i don't know if we'll ever see the project get to over a hundred billion dollars it could happen but you are asking for beyond a 30x so it's nothing uh simple it's not an easy 
question. Now, when we look at Filecoin and we go back in time, you can see a real key point of interest was $2.30. We had that momentarily. We had a $2.30 in December 2022. We had another buy opportunity in June 2023, 266, and then another one at 299. So we can see this is, of course, a very, very big trend line. And it does make us wonder, are we gonna see a correction for Filecoin one day? Because right now, we are a bit overbought. And we're quite far away from these undervaluation zones and um you know i would be waiting for a correction like a 50 percent correction to actually buy back into filecoin a lot of people will be fomoing in now people that are new to the markets retailers um you know will be fomoing in and chasing these green candles filecoin is sitting at seven dollars 40 and it got rejected at eight dollars which was a massive previous resistance in january 2024 you can see filecoin did reach there but it got a huge rejection and actually came down in price quite significantly Significantly, it dropped by about 43% um, there. So we could see another 40 percent drop uh, for Filecoin coming back down to that $4.50 level. Yes, fundamentals are there. Yes, utility is there. But are the technicals really there right now? Are the to tokenomics on our side? When we go to another time frame, when we look at this one, we can actually see, look, we've got a big, big bearish divergence. If you look at the relative strength index right here, you can see it is piling down on this one hour time frame and the price resistances were piling up. So we do have that bearish divergence, which, you know, it's gonna be tricky to break through this $8 mark. Now, expectations, what should we expect for the bull run coming up? Because of course, we're gonna see low caps, mid caps, and, you know, projects like this potentially do really well. There is, in my opinion, 10X potential here for Filecoin. I do think we could return to surpass the $12 billion valuation. But remember, $12 billion will technically be the all-time high for Filecoin. 12 billion is a 3x from here. So expect a 20, 30, or $50 Filecoin at best. And don't get greedy because these are realistic numbers. So when I when I talk about 15 to $30. This is not unit cost all-time high anymore. We're looking at project all-time high. So realistically, we should be targeting, uh, we've got $15 there, which is a 2X. We got like a three, a, a, a 2X over here, a 3X, sorry. And then again, if we really are pushing the boundaries, a $30 um, point of interest. So ideally, you know, you've got this zone here to be looking forward to for Filecoin and I, I know you guys probably don't believe me but this would technically be its all-time high territory a lot of people won't talk about this because you know they don't look at the supply of things which I just find absolutely crazy uh, because basically that's what this game is about right trying to get into projects that are scarce and have a limited supply and don't you know dilute or inflate by just throwing in hundreds of millions of tokens over a few months or even a couple years um but yeah so realistically 15 dollars 23 dollars 28 dollars this sort of range is where you should be looking for because of its tokenomical flaws right here i'm not saying it's a bad project it's a fantastic project of course but these are things to be looking out for so i would not even consider this relevant anymore this zone here in my opinion is just not really relevant for this current bull market cycle that we're going to be in if you're holding on for that long and trying to wait for filecoin to get back to this particular area it could cost you very big so remember not financial advice but it's my way of looking at things um so yeah guys just wanted to talk about it there's a great article talking about filecoin i will drop this link down below so you can do some research on the economics a deep sea dive into the economical structure of filecoin tokenomics so you can actually understand you know some of its flaws and what filecoin is about if you're new here by the way please do consider becoming a patron if you want to unlock over 500 trading signals per month as well as um, early news on straight to dex and fair launches in the crypto space you can become a crypto champion for 45 pounds a month or 60 dollars ish or a crypto legend for 80 pounds a month or around 100 dollars ish there's only three slots remaining here guys and also only two slots on the crypto champion side so check out the patreon link down below subscribe if you want to hit those crypto goals we'll help you get there and remember all these benefits are within jacob's crypto clan which is my discord channel so do check it out guys just want to be real with you this is the discord here we've got many sections if you're not too used or, for, or you know like used to discord or familiar with discord it might take a while to get used to but we've got everything that you need here so do join the, the clan look forward to seeing you there and uh fear and greed index right now i think we should flip to it 72 
Uh, so yeah, greedy markets, we are feeling that greed, aren't we? We're feeling that euphoria, a two trillion dollar market cap. I mean, this is something big and something to be pretty excited about. And we're only 66-ish days away from the big Bitcoin halving. So there it is, folks. Why it's heartbreaking, why Filecoin might never recover, and it's sad but true. And I hope, you know, things will look good from here. Anyways, boom, thanks for watching. See you soon, stay crypto safe, and bye for now. Thank you.